Hi, and welcome to Module 8, Verification of Renewable Energy Forecast. Before we get to the stage of generating our own forecast, we need to understand what makes a forecast good, what makes a forecast bad, and most importantly, how we can improve those forecasts through various scores, analysis, and diagnostics. Here, before we get to the discussion, let me tell you that forecasters are often subject of criticism. Sometimes we are laughing at forecasters, sometimes we are just frustrated with them. There's many quotes that have been collected through history. For instance, this one of Niels Bohr, who got a Nobel laureate in physics and is a famous Danish scientist. He said, prediction is very difficult, especially if it's about the future. Some other quote that is anonymous, forecasting is the art of saying what will happen and then explaining why it didn't. If you want, you can go on Google, just type forecasting quote, famous or just funny forecasting quote, and you will find many, and you can just pick your favorites. Still, when it comes to forecasting, we have to accept it. Forecasts are always wrong to a certain extent. They will always be a part of forecasting error. The problem is that bad forecasts translate to consequences. And when it comes to renewable energy generation, there may be security issues when it comes, for instance, to offshore wind farm maintenance planning. Imagine that you plan some maintenance offshore and then there are some issues in terms of wave height, uh, wind speed, etc., and your crew is in danger. There can be financial losses. You've seen participation in the electricity markets rely on forecasts and how we accommodate them in the decision-making process. So wrong forecast and wrong appreciation of the forecast quality will lead to financial losses. And eventually, as a lot of forecast errors may translate to cost consequences, there may be an overall decrease in social welfare. If you were to push it, you could say that large errors in wind, solar, etc. forecast may lead to blackout as we cannot cope with this kind of situation. Actually, hopefully not, since there are many ways to prevent uh, blackouts, and the last blackout is a long time ago in Denmark. But still, in definitely, we have harsh criticism on using renewables because of the quality of the forecast and the fact that it leads to extra cost and also some extra emissions if we have to use dirty power plants as a balancing uh, generation. Here in this module, we would like you to be able to explain what makes renewable energy forecast good or not good, and we'll discuss the concept of forecast quality and forecast value. I would like you also to describe how one may evaluate the quality of different forms of forecast. So in practice, this may be with different scores and diagnostic tools that should be used and interpreted. Finally, Module 8 is based on three video lectures and associated self-assessment quizzes. In the first block, we'll discuss what makes a good forecast. Then we will focus on the verification of deterministic forecast, and eventually we'll discuss the verification of probabilistic forecast. Good luck with Module 8.